Hello guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to create some simple clock. It could be really simple or with some tricks I'm showing you. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's create uh, the simplest clock uh, that could be, this, which we could be used on every TV channels. Uh, this is the simplest way uh, to create it uh, by using this uh, plugin, uh, built-in plugin, I mean system time from tools uh, section and uh, you just can drop it on your container with text and it will work it's really simple and it's working anyway uh, okay what what i can do with this i can do, for example change uh, the um, the font size the font uh, family okay and uh, what can i do more i can set it set it for example, I want to delete this second, or I can show you the date of the month and the months. Oh, not it's minutes. Okay, this month and year. This full year, it just the last uh, two uh, two digits. Okay, I don't want it. I just can leave it. Okay. But uh, it's really the simplest, the simplest clock <laughs> you can you can create. Uh, but in reality, you could want to add some animation to make this clock uh, more nicer and uh, better. And the most common way to make it better uh, is by adding some tic tac animation uh, for this column, for example. Let's take a look how it will work. Okay this and I need to run animation tic tac okay in order to make that you have to separate your clock your uh, system time to uh, two parts with a third uh, as a colon as you can see in the first part I will use only H in these settings and for the second I will use only M for minutes and uh, I will create, I'm creating this uh, container with colon, which we will animate. So we are now make animation for this. It's just alpha from 100 to zero. And it works very easy. And uh, at the end of this director, we have this uh, action key. It's really simple. I mean, I just run this director again, just run it, as you can see, that way we will make, we, we can make just really simple loop animation. Okay, this looks very nice, it's working as we want, and exactly as you can catch, I moved this column from this position to this position, it's more, I for, for me it's more, um, nicer it's more cool yeah it's uh, much better so the first issue you come up against uh, with the clock animation is synchronization you will want to um, you will want to run tic tac animation exactly when second uh, is changed uh, in order to make this uh, you have to create uh, the script which will run exactly when the second was changed let me show you. Okay. So as you can see, there is a different animation. This and this synchronized. This animation is synchronized with the second. This unsynchronized, because uh, you cannot uh, control when you when your scene was loaded in in engine. So you have to run this animation only by changing this uh, value. Let's take a look inside the script, what it does. Uh, and this is really simple. I create uh, the variable with a director of TikTok. It's called scripted TikTok. This na name is here. Oh, let's stop it. Okay. Yeah, I can just uh, copy and paste. 
just to don't make uh, any typo okay and uh, next uh, the variable pref second so because uh, i need to uh, store previous value of second and uh, each frame by this uh, callback function and each frame uh, i will check if we, if it was changed if you change it, I just run director with our animation. Now we can guarantee that uh, animation runs only at correct time. You can see. So the current second is doesn't uh, equal previous second. You just can do anything. In, in our case, we just start animation of this director and uh, store the previous second just to, to run it in loop and make some really nice bonus uh, for example we can create animation for changing minutes or hours which could be run only per minute or per hour uh, let's make it for for minute i prepare some code here and comment okay so here I add uh, only the second director, this uh, director for animation of uh, changing the minute. Let's take a look how it will work. Yeah, just tick, ding, that way. Okay, and uh, this director I'm going to run only when the second change it into uh, 59 value, this, this number. Okay, if the uh, if current second if equal uh, 59 second, it just uh, I'm starting this director. Simple, very simple. Let's take a look how it will work in real time. Let's compile and run. Tada! It's working. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and uh, I have to show you some very important thing that if you want to uh, check your design with uh, several values uh, i mean you need to check how it will work with uh, two hours four hours six four hours one hours 12 20 uh, it's important because uh, the different fonts have uh, different um, width of symbols so you have to check it by settings of uh, system offset uh, offset uh, system clock in here in uh, this um, plugin because if you if you do it by real changing system clock it could be harmful for wizard <laughs> so just if you need to check your uh, check your design you, you can just change it change it here this second and uh, for our I will I will change here let me check how it will work with only zero 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 one okay one one four one five two oh two two yeah it's working perfect okay I hope it was useful for you uh, please ask uh, any your question in comments uh, I will answer for all of you yeah, bye-bye.